Well, good morning, uh, Mosaic family. Hey, uh, the word for today is work. And uh, I don't know about you, but um, there's a passage that we find um, that is really powerful for me. It is in Philippians chapter 2, verse 12 and 13. It says, Therefore, uh, my dear friends, as you have always obeyed, not only in my presence, but now much more in my absence, continue to work out your salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God who works in you to will and to act according to his good purpose. Now, you see here in this passage, there are like two references to work. Uh, at one level, there's uh, the work we do. And then at the other level, there's the work that God does. And so one of the things that I found, I don't know if this has been your experience, if you maybe you're a Christ follower, and uh, early on in my walk, um, everything was about rules. Everything was about don'ts. Everything was about restrictions, like not doing what I used to do. And at some level, that, that has great value, right? Because you're living a new life. Uh, we are a new creation. Uh, old things have passed away. Behold, all things become new. But what you soon find if your life is re re revolving around don'ts and what you stand against rather than what you're for, then your life becomes empty. It becomes really shallow. And uh, and so here here's where the work comes in. So I want to start with God's work, right? God uh, does the work in us. What we really want is the Holy Spirit to be at work. And here are a few things that the Holy Spirit does in us and through us. The Holy Spirit convicts us uh, of sin so we can repent. The Holy Spirit comforts us when we are hurting. Uh, the Holy Spirit helps us to understand the truth so we can walk in, uh, in the light. It strengthens us. It gives us spiritual gifts. It matures the fruit of the Spirit in us. It empowers us to minister to other people. It causes us to love a life uh, of Jesus and to flow out of our hearts the calling and the purpose that, that God have for, has for us. And so those are the things that the Holy Spirit is at work doing in us. Now, here's the other thing I love. Uh, Richard uh, Foster's book, Celebration of Discipline, he talks about or references um, uh, a wheat farmer and how the wheat farmer uh, works for the harvest. And one of the things that he describes is how the wheat farmer uh, pulls out weeds, uh, the wheat farmer uh, plows the field, plants seeds, fertilizes seedlings, uh, does things to kill the bugs. Uh, all the essential parts of farming, all the essential parts of what he's supposed to do. But the one thing the wheat farmer can't do is make the wheat grow, right? That's the mystery. That's the thing that it can't tap into or he can't tap into. And the same is true with us. Like if we believe that our our um, discipline, our um, efforts are the things that cause us to grow, then we miss the reality of what the Holy Spirit's work is. We're not the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit does things we can't do, right? Uh, so at one level, we we do. We plant the seeds. We water the ground. We uh, pull up weeds. But like the growing uh, of, of what we mature and how we, um, the manifestation of God's Spirit at work in us. All that is the work of the Holy Spirit. So I guess my challenge to you today is when you think about the word work to really contextualize and understand like what's what's your part in this because we do have a part and then what's the Holy Spirit's part in this? What's God's part in this? Uh, and if we misunderstand our part and his part then uh, we're truly in trouble. So do your part, right? Um, do the part that the wheat farmer could do, right? But then leave to God what only God can do, and that is the growing and the maturing uh, of his, his spirit in you, the, the manifestation of his spirit in you. Only the Holy Spirit can do that. That's, that's his work. Let me pray with us. Father, thank you so much for um, just this conversation, um, this word work. Um, God, I've, I've been tempted to take the job of the Holy Spirit at times. And I uh, think that it's, it's my job um, to make myself grow. Um, but God, I pray that um, just as I've had to come to grips with the reality that that's not my job, that's, that's God's job. Uh, God, I pray that same experience for those who are listening, those who are 
tuning in uh, today. God, help us to know our part, but also help us to trust that you're able to do your part. You're able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all we could ask or imagine. So um, you do your work in us and help us to, uh, to do our part. We thank you for that. We trust you today. It's in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much. We'll see you soon.